clarifies its plan to have a uh, introduce of Huawei's uh, uh, version three servers uh, management software, the IBMC. And now we can start it. And uh, first of all, uh, we have to open uh, our browser and log in from the system. And here I will show it to use the HTTPS and type into the management IP address and connect to the system. And here we choose uh, continue to this website. Okay, here is the login web of the Huawei's IBMC. And uh, we can see here and type into the username and the password. Okay, now uh, we log into the system, and uh, you can first of all you can see some basic information of the system, include of the uh, uh, server's name and the uh, service number, the management IP, and also the IBMC's soft version. And also, uh, at the top of it, there have some button of different kind of applications. At the left side, is um, the sub functions for uh, for these uh, items. And uh, the uh, left, uh, the right side is the alarm and the user's information. Also, at below, you can see here have some virtual button to. Turn off and turn down the system. And uh, after this is the common operation uh, shortcut. And you can connect to uh, some basic and uh, frequently to use the buttons from here. At the list is the uh, engine saving state. And you can see how much engine you're saving, and what about the saving powers when you use the Huawei's server. Okay, we uh, go ahead and the company information. And in this items, you can see some informations for hardware, include of almost all the hardware states. And we can see some example here. The main bond information. You can see here all the information about the main bond. And then also the NIC card, the port states, and the MAC address, processors. Okay, you can see all of the processors here the module and the clock speed. And the uh, vendors. Okay, uh, go ahead. The real time monitor. For less functions, you can see your internal temperatures, and uh, it shows every uh, for each two hours, and also it will test and check for per ten minutes. And the sensor. Okay, you can see the threat sensor and the discreted sensor. Okay, and the next uh, function button is alarm and the cell. And you can see the current al alarm. And here, cost of um, for our server, it's just connected to. Uh, power cables so here have some uh, power al alarm and you can see the date here and the, the type of the alarm and the events law and for this item you can have a filter of the different kind of uh, the events for example maybe the event is too much for you and you can't find some details which you want and you can choose and search from here, for example, the fan and search. OK, 
Okay, here is no any available. Cost of the fan is working okay. And the power supply. With the critical, and you can see here, here have some with the power supply critical. And also, you can filter it by the date, yeah, maybe within the two weeks or within some hours. Alarm siding. And here you can choose uh, how to check your alarm state. And you can use the ISN MP um, to uh, check your alarm. And also you can set uh, some um, port here. And uh, you can get an uh, email about uh, the system alarm. And you can monitor and uh, control your system from the remote, even if you stay at home or out, out of office. If uh, just the, that you can get an uh, email, uh, the, the state of the state is under your control. And uh, you can set the I SMTP server's uh, mm, reference and also the email address here and also you can set some titles to separate different servers and systems and you can choose what kind of alarm you want to maybe for the normal the normal and the mirror is we can ignore it okay ignore and it provides some provisions to let you Re double check and recheck your states to use the playback uh, uh, actions and the screen short to short the screen of your system and you can see that by default it will have a sh uh, screenshot for each the last time when you operating of on your servers and the black box by default it disabled and uh, it has some storage of your uh, fail operating and zero port date. The same with the black box, you can turn on and turn off it and download the state. Fault diagnosis logs, and you can get the report by CPU and the memory uh, rather hot swap. By default this function is sweet is disabled and you have to turn on it uh, on the um, on your belt firstly and then you can choose one of sorry then you can choose one of your button and uh, choose the destination one and click the migrate and then you can wait here and wait the system to migrate the date from one to another one the power button and the basic is the power control you can turn on turn off our uh, firstly, firstly to turn off the power okay here is some basic functions and for power you can check the state of your power and how many power you cost and how many you saved and the current power state okay also here have two kinds of uh, ways to show it one is by btu per hour and another is by watt okay here is the state for your equipment and also uh, check every 10 minutes and uh, show it every 2 hours. The engine saving settings. By default here is just within the normal state and uh, also it, when you set some parameters you have to uh, you have to know here should be half a balance between the, power, uh, the engine saving and the system performance so it's decided what kind of benefits you will use on your server and is it uh, busy all the time or is have uh, some uh, some empty times to need to save the engines it's decided by yours but 
for Huawei to provide the operating uh, provider available to operate it. Okay, config and uh, to set the user's policy, and you can see here you can add users and set some policy for users and what his user can be do here and by default there have only one user it's the root user and with the administrator prevailing and it also supports the uh, ldap functions but 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 by default it's turned off Network settings, you can set the management network and it support both of uh, IPv4 and IPv6. And also you can choose with card and with port. And set the DNS if you want to get it from the internet. And also support to set the VLAN and the port setting. And all of this port by default is uh, used the default port number and you can choose if the number is conflict with your uh, system and you can change any of them system settings and for SNMP for tracking and uh, the alarm threshold and some other mode of the read boot options you can choose which uh, equipment you want to boot from from uh, at the beginning when the uh, server is booting and the SSL certificate okay next one the sister and you can check different kinds of logs for this system also you can download it for the logs operation logs run logs security logs and the work record because of this server everything is everything so here is nothing um, for the work record and the online users I think yeah here is only one which is I login by the root user and the firmware upgrade and the first you have to download the firmware from Huawei Sport e website and then import it and uh, click start up update and the system will refresh the new one For remote control and uh, the function is about the remote KVM you can control and connect the server by remote KVM you can also you can turn on it turn off it and also do some daily operating uh, like you use the physical KVM but uh, the difference is just you connect it by the network not to stay in the in your site. Before that, you have to install the Java. Okay, now we connect to the server, and here has a operating system on the servers, and you can choose. Here have a mouse. You can choose everything, and inject the CD, and also to uh, get the mouse control and the full screen. And here you can use some mix uh, compound keyboard for example in here and the reboot the system yeah I think okay and uh, something else is if here the information is not update you can link the refresh to update the information which you just did for the system and also if something you not not clearly you can for example, I'm not sure about here the operating logs, and you can click here the help. It will get some information about the current uh, web, and uh, you 
you can get how to use it and what it means. Also, for this uh, management software, we have a uh, user guide, and I will send it with the email. And I think it's uh, more details and more clearly you can uh, get everything from the document. And also, it's welcome. Uh, and uh, please feel free to connect with me if you have any more questions. Thanks to you all. Bye. Have a nice day.